Hey, welcome back to another video on working with our database in Java. In this video, we're going to create a function that will delete things from the database. And so we'll make the simplest example possible. So far, we have a read all and insert something. We're going to make another class and we'll make it delete things. So let's go right click and choose class. Let's call it delete one item. And let's see, we'll make it have a main function and away we go with it. Once again, I'm going to copy and paste a lot of code and then just adapt it. So let's go to insert something and let's take all the code that's in there, copy and bring it across and paste. Double check that I've got an extra bracket and I think I'm ready to go. I've got an error down here that says you're probably going to want to do throws declaration. Very good. All right, let's go check the code out. First of all, the connection doesn't change. We've got a connection, a statement, rows affected will probably be the same here. We're gonna have connection successful message that creates statement, and here we go, rows affected. So now this is gonna change. Let's, um, let's toggle our word wrap. So instead of inserting, we're going to say we're gonna delete. We're going to delete from the table and let's delete where ID number equals, let's delete number, let's see, two. No, let's delete number five. Okay, so that should connect and delete something with our database. Is it that simple? Delete item number five. Let's save the changes and let's run it run the application and it says here delete or it says connection successful so item number five should be gone let's go back and look at our tables so before I'd created number five called video games let's refresh the browser and five is gone wow isn't that amazing so let's uh, switch back here and I'm going to insert something else uh, let's run that one so let's run this guy again. And we've inserted a row. Let's refresh. We have item number six. So let's try it again. Let's go back and try delete one item. What's gonna happen here? We're gonna have zero rows affected. What's the matter with it? Why won't it delete it? Well, we've hard-coded things here, so it's looking for ID number five. And there is no number five anymore. So let's delete that and change it to six save it and run it again and it says it is now affecting one row check the database and browse we have no more six so it looks like we have successfully created a delete function that was easy let's move on to the next one which is update 